little girl went missing in those woods years ago, and they never found her body. I'm Ryan Erlinson, and I own Ryan Erlinson Photography. I have uh, had an idea uh, a couple years ago to make a short film. It's about a couple of teenagers. The boyfriend talks his girlfriend into going out into the woods because he found this creepy place and he wants her to check it out with him. They don't realize how much trouble they're in until it's too late. I did my own editing with my photography. I enjoy color grading the film as well and making sure that it looks it has that look that I want. I was actually born in Vancouver. I've been adamant about keeping the film all in Vancouver in the surrounding areas like Brush Prairie, right in right in town for most of our shoots. We wanted to shoot at the historical buildings in town. Unmarked is uh, based on the Poor Farm Cemetery. So up here is where the, uh, un the real unmarked cemetery is, where there's over 200 people that are buried up here. So this is Elias Kozer, and he's the only uh, marker still up here that you can find. Well, the movie's been on a no-budget movie, that's what they would call this. I built all the, my own sets for some of the scenes, and then the other thing have been uh, location shooting. We've had lots of different locations since we don't have a access to studio type things. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to find out what happened to my sister. Well, most people, the first time they see this, they think it's usually a real cabin that I've made. But upon further investigation, as you can see, that it's just a fake front. So this is how we built the uh, interior of the cabin, is the, uh, we converted our deck. These names, as you will see in the movie, are kind of important. These are old obituaries that we put on the wall. Another one of our set pieces is a uh, grave. We actually dug a grave in the backyard and uh, built a coffin to put in it. And we've also made our own gear. We've made um, our own dolly track out of PVC pipe and my own dolly cart to roll along that. And that's been, that's worked great. We've got everything locked in now. And so we're midway done with the project at this point. And we're hoping to have it out for uh, Halloween of this year. So if people are interested in helping out in any way, you can look up Marble Mountain Films on uh, Facebook and contact us through there.